Welcome to my tutorial on the for loop. Unlike the do loops, the for loops repeat for a specific number of steps. Let's see what this format looks like. We start with the for statement. Next is the start value. Let's say integer b is equal to 1. And we'll go up to 10. That'll be our end value. We can also specify a step. Let's say 2. Now we don't need this variable here, so let's comment it out. The for loop has got a built in increment routine, so we don't need this line also. Here's the end statement. Next. We can leave it like this or specify where the program should go next. Basically, when the loop ends, it'll go back to the beginning now. Let's actually enter a variable here instead of this value. Now we'll run this loop starting with a value of 10. The value in the label didn't change. Let's change this to B and run it again. Enter a value, test, OK. The value in the label now changes. We're moving in increments of 2 as we input it earlier. We can also enter a negative value here. Let's say the start value will be 10 and the end value will be 1. Now we're counting backwards. And this concludes our tutorial on the for loop.